Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So both Brave and Microsoft Edge have received the weekly Chromium security fix that has rolled out. And this week, it's an important fix because it fixes a zero day exploited in the wild. As I posted on yesterday with Google Chrome, and for Brave, after the update has been applied, browser is sitting on version 1.80.115. That's been bumped up from 0.113. And this is the first point release for Brave since it's been upgraded to version 1.80. And the Chromium platform, which is the important part of this update, is sitting on version and build 138.0.7204.97. And if we head over to Microsoft Edge, this is also the first update that Microsoft Edge has received since version 138 rolled out recently and version and build is sitting on 138.0.3351.65. Now first of all Brave has received a fix for an issue with Brave Leo which is the AI chatbot that's built into the browser and Brave Leo was not summarizing video transcripts so if you're experiencing that issue and you're all using Leo According to Brave, that has been fixed. And Microsoft Edge has also received bug fixes and performance fixes for bugs and performance issues, which is common. Those roll out with almost every point release update. Now, focusing on the security fixes or the security fix for this week, it's one high severity, type confusion in V8. V8, that's the V8 JavaScript engine. And Google said it is aware that an exploit for CVE 20256554 exists in the wild. So that's a zero day. It's current. It's out there and it's happening. So very important to double check that Edge and Brave, if you're using either or, are up to date because it will patch that security hole. And there's just one security fix and nothing else listed when it comes to front-facing features or new tweaks and adjustments with both browsers. Just bug fixes and security fixes have rolled out for Brave and for Microsoft Edge. And we are still waiting for Vivaldi to get patched for this zero-day issue. And Firefox will be the only browser not to get the update because it's not a Chromium-based web browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.